When I first got my Vore and, and wanted to start printing some ABS prints, uh, I went to my local hardware store and checked to see what they had. They had some ABS filament at a decent price. So I bought two spools of black and one spool of white. And ever since I got this, I've had the worst layer adhesion ever. To the point where my ABS prints generally are significantly weaker than my PLA prints simply because of poor layer adhesion. Today, some Sunlu ABS arrived and the print is completely different. It's insane how different the quality of these is. Like the Sunlu is super shiny. This is completely matte. The Sunlu has what appear to be a lot of, um, what's it called? Ghosting lines on it, like a ridiculous amount of ghosting. Um, anyways, this cracked like this with basically a couple hammer blows from, from this end of the hammer. And I'm gonna do the same thing to these other blocks, including the Sunlu block. And I basically want to see, does the Sunlu filament have better at layer adhesion? Can I finally trust my ABS prints to not fall apart and turn into complete trash? Like, I mean, it'd be better if I could hold this at the same time, but there we go. It instantly cracks. The white filament, I'm pretty sure, has a better layer adhesion. Yeah, much better. Show again the black filament. Completely useless. This one has better print quality, but I suspected that the same thing will happen. Oh, this one's stronger for sure. Hmm. Let's try another wet one before we crack that one open. This one's strong. Yeah, this looks like good. That's, um... Let's give the sunlit one a shot. So much better. Oh, or not. That whack got pretty far in. Huh. I'm gonna set my phone down so I can get a proper swing at it. So I flipped the sunlit block around and gave it a healthy amount of wax again. And it, it does compress more than this white ABS does for some reason. I'm not sure if that's layer adhesion or whatever, but it it doesn't split apart like these do. These, as soon as you get a crack, they essentially give up. But the Sunlu one dented in and then held out. So I definitely trust the Sunlu filament more, and I am happy with the print quality. It's not the best I've ever seen, but it's far from the worst I've ever seen. So I'm definitely going to be using the Sunlu filament moving forward. And probably, I mean, it's a shame to throw out the ABS, but I really don't know what to do with this filament.